do what you love and you never work a day in your life. Still try to remember who told me this superb bull <laughs> Good afternoon everybody. Although I've been shooting for almost 10 years, my first year as a professional photographer will end in July. So this gave me the idea for this episode. In fact, today I'm going to talk about six things I wish I'd known before starting my career as a professional photographer. Exactly. I made a list. It could sound weird. A bit like the, the tightrope between the diary and having nothing better to do. But I can assure you it can happen if you have three hours driving by car on a highway, driving from Florence to Rome, and effectively you don't have nothing better to do. In 2014, I grew I don't know what kind of animal. Maybe a fox? Don't know. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> in 2014, I graduated in geology with an experimental thesis in collaboration with European Space Agency and American Space Agency. But practically, I spent entire days, hours and hours, with the camera in my hands, photographing everything, everywhere every time, every breath you take, every body hurts, some time. So, the logical decision, at least for me, is to become a professional photographer. But now that my dream come true, I discovered that I pass at least 10% of, of my time with a camera in my hands. I spend most of my time emailing people, in meetings with clients, post-producing my pictures, doing YouTube videos and making stupid list. So the real shooting time is a small percentage of my entire time. At the beginning it was frustrating, obvious, but now I learned my lesson. I learned to bring the most out of the little time available and this is real an important thing in the world of work. I decided to become a professional photographer, a freelance professional photographer, because I wanted to be able to decide when work and when not to nothing farther from reality. I literally work every day, seven days a week, 24 hours a day. When I'm not walking or just post-producing my pictures, I'm planning my next shooting or project. And in my free time, I spend a lot, a lot of hours thinking how to, to find my next client and so on. It seems stressful, but I love my job. Maybe it's more easy for me because I spend a lot of time doing this stuff, living, loving what I do. Nevertheless, I need distractions. I do parkour. Not there. I go out with friends. I go mountain biking. And exploring and some other stuff that distract me. I'm a freelance and paradoxically, I have less free time than an employer. But I learn to live intensely my moment of relax. 
another great lesson I learned along the way is that professional photographer is not always the best photographer. Image quality and their beauty count, but a lot of clients prefer problem solving, initiative, professionalism, cordiality, rather than great images. With this, I don't want to say you don't have to improve yourself, but don't forget your human part. <laughs> Every year, Rome hosts uh, an important dance festival. Three years ago, a friend of mine, Jada, a really good photographer and dancer, decided to wrote a mail, an email, to the organization of that festival, sending her portfolio. And you know what? <laughs> they call her back and they say, yes, come with us. Uh, dream come true. When I registered my VAT number, I thought the uh, clients would have jumped on me. Uh, an extreme naive thought. I quickly realized that I have to search for clients by myself. And when I have some doubt, I think back to my friend's incredible story. Oh. Last year, I was ashamed of asking for work. Now I am a freelance professional stalker. I got literally everything wrong all the time you don't have even an idea of how many mistakes I did. But instead of falling in depression because I lost at the beginning maybe 90% of my clients, I understand that doing mistakes I improve a lot, much more than studying. When I tell people that I am a professional landscape photographer, they say I am lucky because I travel a lot, I visit many countries and I am free. Probably they know nothing about the life of a freelance professional photographer. Well, some years ago, traveling is just a hobby. Now, traveling is my job. Now. I must come back from a trip with good photos and clearly this puts a lot of pressure on me. This doesn't mean that I don't enjoy my travels, but surely it's not really a relaxing situation. All this long talk leads to a single question. Do I regret it? I chose my job. Look around me. Absolutely not. Why? I, I'd wish I'd known this thing before and what could have changed? Maybe my, <laughs> my experiences would be more relaxed. <laughs> I made this video just for you, to give you my, my experiences after a year as a professional photographer. It was hard and maybe the next year will be harder but I do what I love so I, I'm happy I'm satisfied ah oh cows I love cows there yeah maybe with this lens they are just a little point white point in the green. I have to reach the top of the hill. It's really a wrong road. Yeah, but from the top of the hill there is a splendid panorama and maybe after I wait for the sunset to shoot some pictures.
Oh, okay. Maybe 30 minutes to sunset. It's quite peaceful, isn't it? Look at that. <laughs> yes. Okay, now it's time to search for interesting composition. The sky is not really interesting, as you can see. So maybe I include more foreground than background and sky. And this road leads you high towards the horizon, towards the sun and the sunset. I show you also uh, some pictures I shot three weeks ago here with a better sunset. Now I found this little spot just at the end. The sunset is disappear, disappearing over the hill. It's Simply splendid, and this this line of this rock, beautiful, beautiful. I shot some pictures. <laughs> Sometimes landscape photography is a bit like street photography. <laughs> you have really a small window of time to shoot. Like now. Stop, no sun. Game over. We arrive at the end of this episode. Thank you for watching this video. And if you like it, I would be immensely grateful if you sign up to my channel. The release date of the next episode is on the cover of my channel here on YouTube, but I prepare a video every 10 days almost. But until the next one, bye.